Her smile was always her secret weapon that always kept her protected, that made her seem invincible and inhuman, like she didn't need anyone, and that she was always okay. But deep down, she cries out, all I wanted was a friend. She would smile to avoid letting others in, acting as if everything was okay. Because when she told the truth, it pushed others away. So she smiled. Everything is okay, is what she would always say. No one really cared until they found her dead. They still see her smile, but now it's just a memory. Too late to say, we really loved you, Kimmy. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go and think I'm about to kill myself, I write poems that are in my heart. And they're meant to share with the world because I'm a messenger. A couple months ago, Oprah had an article and it was about mental health, mental illness. And the funny thing, a lot of people, including your family members, will ostracize you if they think something's wrong with you. But the funny thing, they will be the first one falling in the casket and on the grave and everything, screaming how much they loved you. Now, I do a lot of tests to find out who I need to let in my circle of trust. And you can say it's not right, but that is what I've learned to do in order to protect me. And I sent the poem to several people, a lot of family members, some friends. And the funny thing, some of my friends, you know, they understood. And then my, some of my family, you know, they asked if I was okay. But the funny thing, some family members that I felt were close to me didn't even respond. Now, that's okay, but my thing is this. Why wait till someone is gone before you say that you love them? Why wait till someone's gone before you ask them if they need anything? There are so many people out here that need help. There's so many people out here that are alone and would love for someone to just give them a call and say, hey, you matter. I see you. The funny thing, I learned this a long time ago, that if you, there's so many people that are in nursing homes and in living facilities that have no one. They have no one to visit them. No one that cares. So if you don't have family members that care, get new family members. You can go to these facilities, and if you don't have a mom or a dad that cares about you, or if you just, you know, you just need someone to love back, you know, like, go to these facilities. They would love to have an adopted daughter or son. They would love to have a brother or sister or there's so many places you can volunteer and be a big brother or a big sister. I volunteer with the Guardian Ad Litem. I have two little girls I take care of, and they're like my granddaughters that I never had. But if you don't have to, just because people are blood or family members, you don't have to accept them. No one deserves to be treated bad. So if someone... If, it's, if the relationship is bad, like, it takes so much work to be in this relationship with these people, you know what? Love them from a distance. Get new family members. If, you, if you're around people that hate you, and they really, they're being fake, and they really could care less if you are here or not, you don't have to subject yourself to that. Let them see your back. 
Love them from a distance. You have to do what is best for 